Today we want to explain to you the specific functions of our dressage model classic. Therefore, we present you a top line with very short lines from shoulder to the deepest point and a big compensation between back line and top of the withers. The function we want to support by our saddles is stretch between middle of the back and middle of the neck. According to the Amerigo philosophy, we need the same shapes, angles, and distances in the saddle than we find in the top line of the horse. Means distance from shoulder blade to the deepest point and the right angle on the back line not to interfere with the function of the hind legs. If we place the saddle on top, So you see here the position of the gullet. Then you see a distance from the pommel to the deepest point of the saddle, which corresponds with the distance between shoulder blade and deepest point of the top line of the horse. Then you see a very moderate, friendly angle following smoothly the top line of the horse, not to interfere with the function of the hind legs. We also aim for a position of the rider as you stand on the ground. The hip positioning should be according to your position on the ground. This is the only way we achieve a balance line between ear, shoulder, hip, and heel. You also see that we usually make three long billets, also on dressage saddles. We do that because we want to increase the flexibility of the horse in terms of corresponding with the positioning of the girth. On this horse, you see that the position on the sternum would be about here. So you could use the first and the third billet just to achieve a straight line to the buckles of the girth.